and because she was courageous she was able to share her personal challenges many people are not able to share personal challenges especially if they are not about success and you know um, good things in life challenges that are hurtful, that are painful, people keep to themselves. It takes courage to share and because of her there is now a good measure of awareness of this condition and uh, the challenge now we have as a country, as leaders, as professionals is to search for ways and means of giving quality service to those who suffer this condition or any other condition that can be made better or easier by the care one receives. It is a challenge to those in office and also a challenge to those of us out of office. And I hope Jambi's life will be an example to young people and also to leaders that we need to be de dedicated to making Kenya better in all ways. Jambi fought like the gallant warrior she was. Yeah. May she rest in peace and may her family be comforted by the exemplary life she led. Yeah. Did you get a chance to maybe talk to Njambi when she was alive? Yeah, she paid a courtesy call in uh, my party offices at some stage and uh, we shared, this was in the runner-up to the 2022 elections. She expressed to me her desire to run for elective office. She didn't end up uh, running, but she did make that uh, attempt. And uh, I've already said that she was a committed and engaged citizen. Jambi did not just sit and complain. She took a step towards making Kenya better. And I would invite all citizens of goodwill, let's all take an active part in making Kenya a better country for all of us. That is one tribute we can pay to this young and gallant warrior who has now rested. Yeah. And uh, other question. So, uh, would you speak to the girls in the country who could be going through the endometriosis uh, issue? And also speak on what can be done by the current government about the health system in the country. To all women and girls suffering this condition, don't suffer in silence, speak out. There is power in sharing and there will be a network of those in similar circumstances of people who can offer insights and help in this matter. And I've said to those in positions of power and decision making, the challenge of improving health. And when you look at this year's finance uh, proposals, uh, which are being read this afternoon in Parliament, health is being defunded. The funding is not being increased. And we are reminding leaders that one is placed in a position of leadership to look after the needs of the people, not about their own needs, their vanity and fantasies. So the call is to increase funding to health and to ensure that all Kenyans access universal quality health care. Um, I wanted to ask, because Mother, you are such an inspiration to many women, maybe do you have uh, an initiative of your own? Uh, Very soon, end? coming shortly, there will be mentorship through the Martha Karoa Foundation. Not just for girls and women, but mentorship for leadership. Okay. Yeah, Maybe so it will be announced. Which me, I know yeah. you are role model to many yeah. uh, young girls and also mothers. Mm -hmm. What do you tell those mothers who have maybe children, having children, going through a uh, situation like uh, the lady that we went through, but they are not ready to open up? What do you tell them? I've actually said anybody going through challenges, there is power in speaking out. You find a community of others who are in similar circumstances, of people who can offer insights into how your situation can be alleviated. Because even when something is not curable, the medical profession has a way of innovating and making the 
the quality of life, improving one's quality of life through palliative care, through whatever methods that are available. Don't suffer in silence. Please speak out and reach out to others like Jambi did. Yeah. So, Dr. Ri, just a quick one. Um, Will you say that women who are in the um, women who are suffering these uh, health health issues are getting enough support from the current government? Will you say that the, um, the government is really putting an effort, or uh, what's going on with those ladies? I would say on health issues to women and to especially the vulnerable, there is almost total abandonment by the current regime. And I'm saying we have to pull up our socks as citizens to push for our issues to be factored in. For better health care, better basic needs uh, response by the government of the day. Yeah. Thank you so Thank much. You so much. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Eric Omondi, our president of Comedy Africa. Yo yo, this is Kushman. Pedi wa magengi. Mambo vipi watu wangu wa Nairobi na Kenya mzima. Subscribe. Kwa story za nini? 254. Across all social media platforms. Hapana kuchanganya. Na wewe ndio Dori. Subscribe right now. Finya sahi. Sa wewe finya.